when you walk into a shoe store and you see lots of shoes like this on sale 40 50 70 off it's easy for you to get the coolest shoes that you would want now being cool looking cool is good if that's your goal but if your goal is to run a marathon i think you should think twice in this episode we will help you find the right running shoes that's just right for you So let's dive in. Here are my top three tips in helping you find the perfect running shoes that's just right for you. Number one, you have to know thy feet. Number two, you have to examine your feet. And number three, you have to fit your feet. Know your feet. When I say know your feet, you have to be acquainted with the shape of your feet. Are you flat-footed? Does it need stability? Are you arc-footed? Or are they naturally neutral? The shape of your feet will determine the kind of shoes that you need to get. That's why you need to be more acquainted with your feet. Number two is you have to examine your feet. And what I mean by that is that you have to go through gait analysis. Gait analysis is simply the observation of your feet's natural movement and locomotive pattern this will determine the kind of shoes that will help you run the long distance because if you have the wrong pair of shoes and running in a certain number of hours this will definitely injure you and running will be a worst experience for you you don't want to go back to the sport ever again and so you have to examine your feet's movement. Number three is you have to fit your feet. This is where you have to not just know the size of your feet, but you have to feel the shoes if it's really comfortable for you. Know your feet size. Usually, there's a part of your feet that's longer than the other. As for my case, my right foot is half inch longer than my left foot so if you have that variation in your your feet you have to get the pair of shoes based on your largest or your longest feet now if you're running a marathon based on the largest or the longest feet you have to add another inch to that longest feet that you have because as you run four hours, certain number of hours, your feet expands and becomes a bit larger than your usual walking feet. That's why you have to feel the shoes, you have to fit the right kind of shoes and add some margin for you to really be comfortable with your long distance run.
So there you have it. You just have to know your feet, examine your feet, and fit your feet with the right shoes that's just right for you. So go ahead and visit the nearest running store that's near you and have yourself go through gait analysis so that you will have a precise, accurate data of what kind of feet that you have, the pattern of movement, so that it will help you decide the perfect shoes that fits you. So welcome back to the vlog. If you are new here, my name is Joe Ash. If you have been here, thank you for going back. And this is Nona. Hello. Ayan. So papunta na kami sa ating pangalawang bull circle. And medyo late na kami. So <laughs> we'll just take time. <laughs> Ayan, dito na tayo. Na, All right. Na. All right, let's go, let's go. And I did that in May this year, three months after my first marathon. So you can have your own dreams. Okay. And uh, on this trip, I put, I, 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 you know, the lessons I learned in the marathon. <laughs> Recording. Alright. <laughs> okay. So, what's your for tonight's uh, bull circle? Uh, recovery din talaga. Eh. So, recovery. sleep and then nutrition. So, yung para aha is yung 45 minutes after nung uh, workout. Uh, para isang magandang window siya para dun ka mag uh, take ng recovery food. Kasi oh, yeah, yung yeah. usual is parang after no training tulog ka muna tapos oh, sumaya ka na lang kakain yun pala mahalaga yung parang window, yung window na 45 minutes mas madaling ma-absorb okay. yeah okay no no what's your key take away from the bull session mm yes sa akin yung bull circle yes sa akin yung training is not just running pala maraming components like sleep nutrition Huwag kang magta-train ng mga bagong stuff like medyas, sapatos on the week of the marathon. Yun, sobrang daming learning, sobrang nakaka-inspire. Excited na to run, but yeah. first, sleep muna. <laughs> part of training. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes, sleep, sleep. Yan ang yung 4 hours na may cut off. At yeah. least 6 hours. Mm -hmm. And so, Alright, so ready na kami. Malapit na. Ano, 8 weeks na tayo. So we still have 14 weeks to go for the, the marathon. Alright, so see you there. Mga hindi nakapunta. Panoorin nyo to. 